The Chinese government calls Falun Gong an evil cult. These Chinese practitioners now in Los Angeles, California, insist that it's a peaceful, spiritual exercise. The central principle of the of Falun Gong is really three words. Uh, compassion. Compassion? You're just a uh, kind person? Yeah. Well, uh, whatever way other people treat me, I treat them good. Truthfulness? Truthfulness means uh, tell the truth. To be a true person and uh, never tell lies. And the tolerance. Tolerance means uh, look inside, bring, uh, get some conflict with others. Just look inside. Uh, behave well in all kinds of situations. It just teaches us how to be a better person tomorrow than today, next hour than this hour. That's what we were asked to do. Falun Gong, also called Falun Dafa, began in China in 1992. Seven years later, the Chinese government, fearful of social unrest, outlawed it. They say we broke the law. They say that we are we disturb people's uh, we disturb the order of the society just because I unfold the banner of Falun Dafa is good. But you you think it's ridiculous because you live in Western society. You feel oh you just hold a banner on the street that's your right right. But in in uh, under the Chinese uh, Communist Party regime, we cannot. This uh, is illegal because they say it's illegal. According to the U.S. State Department, China arrested more than 30,000 followers and sent them to detention centers and labor camps following the ban. Moreover, the United Nations and multiple human rights groups have documented tortures and killings of Falun Gong. Ji Li was charged and detained for organizing a protest. While imprisoned, she said she experienced this abuse firsthand. Yeah, uh, in the detention center, the uh, Falun Gong practitioners was tortured. Many Falun Gong practitioners uh, was uh, tried in the evening and uh, come back in the morning with all the body scarred. To protest this treatment, she held a hunger strike and claims she was force-fed. They tied me out of bed and uh, insert a glass tube from my nose to, to my stomach. And uh, it was so painful and itching. Bin Lee, Ji's best friend, says she was imprisoned three times before being committed to a mental hospital. Then I was taken upstairs and they closed the door. It's iron door. Suddenly, wow! I was so I was so I feel so horrible. I cried, cried, shouted. I want to be up. At the hospital, Bin says she was also treated with shock therapy. As a result, she suffers from memory loss. I was not aware of that. I lost my memory till one day when I read a, I took a pick up a dictionary, English Chinese dictionary, I think Chinese English dictionary. Wow, so many words that I I don't I don't even know. I said why? Because oh at that moment I I was so frustrated and uh, and horrible at that kind of feeling when you feel that it, you notice that you lost my memory. And moreover, I couldn't, uh, at that time, I couldn't remember uh, my friend's face, what it looked like, what they were like. Neither G nor Bin's accounts have been independently verified, although they resemble examples found in international reports. The Chinese government says Falun Gong is an anti-humanity, anti-society, and anti-science cult. It blames Falun Gong's emphasis on meditative exercises rather than medical treatment to cure ailments for hundreds of preventable deaths. Chinese government officials are also on record saying that the police only interfere with people who practice Falun Gong in public, not in their own homes. But Yi Wang Chang says that is exactly what happened to his family. My mom and my sister were illegally arrested at home because of the, uh, the because they practice Falun Gong. Uh, the policeman just broke into our home without any legal documents or uh, arrest warrant. Chang has been unable to speak to his family since they were arrested last June. Finding a Chinese lawyer to represent them wasn't easy, but his case is now pending in Chinese court. In California, he's received publicity, and local politicians have written letters on his behalf to the Chinese ambassador and President Barack Obama. On my part, um, as a son, I'm in the free, free world, I'm going to just keep uh, telling people about about Falun Gong, about the persecution, about my mom's story, expose what actually happened in China right now. Hopefully I can generate just enough uh, public awareness to put the pressure on the Chinese government. Maybe somehow, some way, they would release my mom.
Life Sister. Like Chang, both Ji and Bin now spend their time raising awareness about Falun Gong. After their release, they left China and moved to the States as refugees. Here, they openly protest. In America, it's a free land, so we can continue our beliefs, and we, we want to tell people what's truly happening in China. So we, we go to some rallies, we go to, uh, we having some uh, parade, and uh, we protesting in front of the embassy of Chinese, uh, Chinese embassy, some, something like that, and tell people what happened to me and uh, what is happening now in China.